At 34 years old, Vicente Torres considered himself fat fit, overweight, but still active. I mean, we did river trips, hiking, all kinds of stuff, bike riding, just anything to be active and outdoors. He knew his diet wasn't great, but wasn't sure it was something he ate, causing severe abdominal pain the day before Father's Day earlier this year. The pain sent him to the ER, where things got worse. What was worse than the, than the pain was that cold feeling, because to me that was like, I mean, like if you could feel what death feels like, that's what it, I mean, what it feels like. Vicente was having a Widowmaker heart attack. The main vessel of his heart, the Widowmaker artery, was 100% blocked. I thought it had to be something else. There was no way it could be a heart attack. He very well could have died from this. Uh, however, he showed up in a timely manner, and so we were able to fix his vessels uh, in a timely fashion. Dr. John Lee says Vicente was the youngest major heart attack patient he had ever treated. And while the treatment, a common procedure called a stent, saved his life, Dr. Lee says Vicente's story has a major takeaway for others. Vicente didn't know he had diabetes, a large risk factor for a heart attack. One of the things that you should know is your family history because that is one of the risks for heart disease. And it's important to see your doctor on a routine basis so they can obtain labs and know what additional risk factors are hidden. For the treadmill itself is normally 15 minutes. Vicente now exercises regularly, follows a strict diet, and takes medication. Since his heart attack, he's lost 30 pounds. What I see what I can do now compared to then, maybe fit fat isn't so, so, uh, so fit. <laughs> he's now embracing what he believes is a second chance. Everything that I've learned and everything I've experienced is something that I can now teach others. And I want to give that knowledge to my family, especially you know, my wife and my son.